two, one. Okay. So now, if you think you like this one, I'll do more examples on this. If you think you liked this, please subscribe. Please like. Please show some love. Great 12s, how are you doing? And I just, I don't know, I'm curious. How does it feel to be a great 12 learner? How, how are you feeling, guys? Eh? How are you feeling? And I just want to say congratulations and welcome to the class of 2024. Please promise me we are going to work hard. We are going to make your parents proud. And we are going to make yourself proud. We believe in you. All right. Now, welcome to JT Academy. I just want to do this quick reminder of arithmetic sequences because, come on, you remember this and you've been doing this last year, right? So we have what? We have arithmetic sequence. What do we remember when it comes to arithmetic sequence? Grade 12s, come on, come on. The first thing that we remember when it comes to arithmetic sequence is that the difference is equal between consecutive terms. The difference is equal between consecutive terms. Okay, remember, we have term 1. We have term 2. And we have Term three. We have term four. Okay, the sequence continues. Remember, the difference is equal between consecutive terms. Now, which terms are consecutive here? Okay, we have term one and term two. These are consecutive terms. We have term two and term three. These are consecutive terms. Term 3 and term 4, these are consecutive terms. They are following each other. You cannot say term 1 and term 3 are consecutive terms. No, that is not correct. Okay, so remember, the difference is equal only between consecutive terms. Only if, remember, difference means subtraction. Okay? Number two, how do we subtract these terms? You say term two minus term one. Looking at this, how do we subtract? Looking at this, you subtract the previous term from the term that is in front of it. Previous term. Subtract it from the term that is in front of it. It's not about a bigger number or a smaller number. This is the rule. And under arithmetic sequence, they say this is equal to any difference between consecutive terms again. As long as, as, long as you are subtracting, the consecutive terms and in the right way. You can't say term 3 minus term 4. That is not correct. That is not correct. You always subtract the previous term from the term that is in front of it. You can say term 4 minus term 3. Or you can say Term 3 minus term 2, these are consecutive terms. And these are consecutive terms. It's really up to you. But for the sake of this lesson, let's just use T3 minus T2. That, this is very important. This is very important. Believe me, this is very important. Sometimes they will give you the difference. But you will get there. This is very important. You have to know this. It's very important in grade 12. It's very important. You have to remember this. The term in front minus the previous term. The term in front minus the previous term. The term in front minus the previous term. Okay. Now, this is how you get what? Your common 
your common difference or constant difference we use d for common difference okay this is how you find your constant difference okay let's do this example let's say we are given three five seven and then these three dots we know this is t1 right we know this is t2 right we know this is t3 remember t1 means is term number one or is term in position one t2 means is term in position two t3 means is term in position three now remember to find the constant difference, what we do, we say this is T2, the term that is in front, and we subtract the term that is behind. Arithmetic says this, is, this will be equal to the difference between the next consecutive terms. T3 minus T2. Remember, it is a term in front minus term behind or minus the previous term. So, looking at this one, you can say T2 is 5 minus 3 and then equal to T3, which is 7 minus 5. Looking at this here, we'll get 2. And looking at this and we'll get two we got two we got two which means remember we said the difference is equal between the consecutive terms therefore we can say D is equal to two okay this is how you find your D the next move we need to know how to find the next two terms of this sequence. They gave us three terms. They say, let's say they ask you to find the next two terms, which means we are required to determine term in position four and term in position five okay how to do that in arithmetic sequence all the time to get the next term you take this you add to the last term okay to get the next term you take the difference and then you add it to the last term to get the next term to show you how to get it done Let's take this constant difference and add it to 3. This is the last term, right? 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7, which means 7 plus 2 will give us 9. Now, 9 plus 2 will give us 11. So, which means... Which so which means term number four term number four is nine and term number five is eleven okay you see this is not difficult okay the next thing that i want us to revise they will ask you to find the general formula And this is going to help you a lot. Okay? This is going to help you a lot to find the general formula or the general term or the nth term of the arithmetic sequence. This is going to be very helpful. 
how to find the general formula for this one. Remember, we had 3, 5, and 7. For you to determine the general formula or general term of the given sequence, you need only two things. You need to know the constant difference. You need to know the first term. Okay, and you need to remember this is very important. Tn is equal to, come on, now you know A is 3 plus N, we do not need N. So we put N as it is, minus 1. We know D is 2. Tn is equal to 3 plus you say 2 times n you get 2n 2 times negative 1 you get minus 2 so we have tn is equal to 2n now that's when things get interesting you say 3 minus 2 you get 1 positive 1 so positive 1 this is how to determine the general formula of the given sequence okay okay great 12 let's do more examples on this one now we are given this sequence right and we are told this is what arithmetic now the first question they ask you to find the next two terms okay Actually, they need to know what is here and what is here. Okay, now remember we have T1, we have T2, and we have T3, which means now they will ask you to find T4 and T5. Okay, so now the first thing that you do here, you have to find your constant difference remember you know how to find that right what we know in arithmetic we know that uh, the difference is equal between consecutive terms we have discussed what is consecutive terms so we'll say t2 minus t1 we say this will be equal to t3 minus t2 all right, let's see if we get the same um, uh, difference. Okay, T2 is 3 minus T1, which is negative 1. So you put bracket here. You cannot mix these signs up. We have to remember this one. It's very important. Now T3 is 7 minus t2 which is 3 okay now remember you can use a calculator now negative times negative this would be positive so which means this is 3 plus 1 so we get 4 equal to 7 minus 3 which is 4 now i'm sure now you can tell this is correct to say d is equal to 4 why because the constant difference is 4 or the difference is equal between consecutive terms okay now you can get all the data here okay what do you have you have a we know a is what is negative 1 but we are not there. We don't need A here. We need D. Why we need D? Because to get the next term, you need to add this difference to the last term. Let's say we need term 2. So you would say term number 1 or term in position 1, which is negative 1. You say negative 1 plus 4. Now we'll get 3. 3 plus 4, you get 7. 
so which means if you say 7 plus 4 what are we getting we get 11 which is t4 is 11 so to get t5 or termin position 5 what we do you say 11 plus 4 we get t5 is 15 can you see that is that difficult grade 12 is that difficult like for real is it difficult come on come on stop saying math is difficult this is not difficult at all okay determine the general formula for this remember i just said for you to find the general term or general formula for a given sequence you need two things you need your constant difference and you need your first term that's all you need why because we are going to use this general formula okay we have d here we have a already so you, you see there's no need to worry now okay tn we say is equal to remember we have that negative one so we have that negative one plus that plus is for the formula remember that one so n n will come back as it is minus one now we have d already which is four now we just we are going to work out the brackets so it's tn minus one now four times n okay for one n times four this is four n negative one times four or four times negative one this is going to be negative four is not matching with these terms so for n will come back as it is we are going to work with these numbers now negative 1 minus 4 this is going to give us negative 5 so this is our general formula for this given sequence n is for the position of the term term in position mm, term in position mm, whatever you put here we are telling this formula find the term in position one this is for the position that's where you put the position number and this is where you put the position number of the term we have t1 which means term in position one if this is t1 which means term in position one if this t2 term in position two remember this small number means n that is why in generally we have what tn all right that's why so that's why after this they will ask you a term in a specific position how are they going to ask you that they will they will put it like this maybe term in position 50 or they will say 50 term like this this is how they are going to ask you to find the term in a specific position okay this is the position this is how they put position they need a term in position 50 of that sequence okay fifth term they will put term here fifth term okay so what you do you take this you put this number where there is n remember n represent position so you use this specific one now not this this one is specific for the given sequence not that one this one is general it's going to help you to get this one right you put your d you put your first term then you're done but now you use this one now you put 50 there come on remember we are looking for term in position 50 equal to 4 4 times term 
the position which is 50 minus 5 remember i told you guys you need calculators all right i can't do this by my head maybe let me try this is what this is 200 if not mistaken this is 200 minus 5 this is going to be 195 this means the term in position 50 in that sequence is 110 95 okay so now if you think you like this one i'll do more examples on this if you think you liked this please subscribe please like please show some love let me do one example before i leave let's say we are given this sequence all right and we know this is what arithmetic sequence okay now the first question determine the next two terms again we have term one we have term two we have term three and then they want us to find or to determine the next two terms which is term four and term in position five all right guys i think i have explained a lot in example a so this one this just flow okay to find the next two terms what you need you need the constant difference and how to find it you subtract t1 from t2 and we know that the arithmetic says the difference is equal between two consecutive terms right so so we are not ashamed to say t2 minus t1 is equal to t3 minus t2 okay let's find out in t2 we have negative negative 8 minus remember this minus is 4 is this minus okay I just dropped that minus now because we are subtracting a negative number you put a bracket okay it's very important this one so now term 3 we have negative 12 minus remember we are subtracting a negative number so you put that negative you put sorry you put that you put that bracket okay we know this is going to be plus right so you can say negative 8 plus 4 is giving me negative 4 which is going to be equal to negative times negative is positive 8 right so negative 12 plus 8 is going to give me negative 4 now i'm not ashamed to say d is equal to negative 4 how to get the next term remember you take the difference and you add to the last term to get the next term let me repeat you take the constant difference you add to the last term to get the next term let's start from here let's start from negative 4 let me say we said negative 4 plus negative 4 you get negative 8 right so negative 8 plus negative 4 you get negative 12 so negative 12 plus negative 4 this is going to be negative 16 all right so t4 is negative 16 negative 16 plus negative 4 let's say t5 is going to be negative 20 okay now this is how you get your next two terms or three terms 
This is arithmetic, remember. Now, the next thing, they will ask you to find the general formula for this given sequence. And for you to determine the general formula or general term or the nth term of this given sequence, you only need the constant difference and the first term, which is A. Now, in this case, the first term, oh, the first term is also negative 4. I like this. I find it so interesting. Now, let's see what we will come up with. Remember, you use this general minus 1. And you use this you use this general formula to come up with a specific uh, formula for the given sequence. Okay, why? It's because we are going to use the difference of the given sequence. And you are going to use the first term of the given sequence. Alright, so let's do that. What you do, you just plug these values. A is negative 4 plus N minus 1. D is negative 4. You just simplify the bracket. How? You say negative 4 times N. This will be negative 4N. Negative 4 times negative 1. This is going to be positive 4. Ooh, I like this. This is very interesting. Now we only have one term with n. So tn, now we are more like arranging this. But now guess what? 4 minus 4 is 0, which means our term or our nth term is negative 4n. This means our general term or our general formula for this given for this given uh, sequence is what negative 4n let's check that out let's say we want the term in position 1 so you put 1 here 1 times negative 4 this would give us negative 4 let's say term in position 2 uh, negative 4 times 2 this will give us negative 8 now let's check the term in position 3. 3 times negative 4, this will give us negative 12. Remember, these terms are the given terms in the sequence there. So this is how you get this done. Okay, grade 12, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and you can follow me and I do have uh, TikTok account there, you can just go there and follow me, Joy T Academy. You follow me, you like, and you do anything to show support and some love for this channel. Just subscribe, just like, just comment. Let me know what you want to see next because that is the only way to give you what you want. Just comment, let me know what you need me to focus on next time. Okay.